In this class, we'll study about Snap Tools and 3DS Max. These tools facilitate moving objects when modeling to streamline the process. Let's begin the class. Snap Tools are on the main toolbar, and there are four types of snaps. Three of them are integrated with the editing tools. Select and move, rotation. Select and rotate, and scale. Select and scale. The first one is toggle snaps. This tool enables snap tools positioning on the elements in the scene, such as grid points, vertexes, segment halves, and others. See how before enabling this tool, we can freely move objects. But after enabling the toggle snaps, then the objects move based on one of the above mentioned elements. In this case, the attributes are the grid points. See how to place the vertex on this box exactly on one of the grid points. Afterwards, we will explain these elements in further detail. After learning about toggle snaps, we will learn about the other snap tools. The angle toggle snap tool makes it possible to rotate objects at 5 degree intervals, from 5 degrees to 90 degree angles. These values can be configured in the percent toggle snap by defining percentage values applied to scale snaps. We will learn how to configure snap commands. Right click any snap tool and then in this case the toggle snaps the grid and snap settings screen will open. Now let's learn about the snaps tab. We define the previously mentioned definitions here. See how the grid points are selected and the mouse moves based on grid points. And now let's enable the vertex option. We'll see how to drag and align an object based on its vertexes and the vertexes of a reference object. The object moves to the aligned position to the referred object vertex. This makes it much easier to model more precisely. After learning about the snap tools, let's get to the general options. Here is the options tab. Use this tab for configuring the way we want these tools to act. In the marker group, we can define a color and size for graphic tool display when the snaps are enabled. Down here, we see the rubber band which shows the starting and final position of an object. In the general group, there are settings for defining the number of tool changes. See the example in the percent field. Here, we define the percentage of the applied scale using the Select and Scale tool. See how we can define percentage in 10 degree intervals. Now let's scale the object by enabling and applying the percent snap angle. So in this class, we have studied about defining the settings for snaps in Max and how to work more precisely in our designs. Throughout the course, we will practice these tools while using these tools on the design.